Hello everyone, ladies, gentlemen, and that's right, I can say ladies because I checked my numbers and turns out something like 1% of you guys uh, choose to identify as female, so let's uh, let's all give a big round of applause for those uh, welcome the ladies over there and uh, all uh, whatever 9 or 10 of you that, that apparently watch my stuff. But uh, anyways, what uh, we're going to be talking about today is how to save money while playing Warhammer. And this is going to be a three-part series um, because it's just too much to try to fit into one video. So what we're going to be talking about today is the actual buying of miniatures and how to get the most bang for your buck, um, where to look, and how to look uh, for the best deals as far as Warhammer. So right off the bat, um, the first thing I'm going to say is most of this is going to involve not buying directly from GW. I mean, I'm sure everybody knows just from looking at their website, it, this is not a cheap hobby. Like if you're just getting into it, this is an expensive thing to jump into. And apart from some of the bigger box sets, like for example, like the ninth edition launch set, um, like the Indominus box, like Space Marines versus Necrons, like that was a good deal. Like for what you got in that box, it was a good deal. And that's because they make those big boxes to try to draw people into the hobby. Um, some of the start collecting kits are not too bad. Um, and you can get some savings there. But apart from those bigger, uh, bigger sets, and like they actually seem to have been getting worse over time. Um, like for example, the new one with the Eldar and the Chaos Marines, uh, not, not the most savings to be had there, and you can certainly do a lot better. So I would say if you are going to try to buy from GW, um, definitely have a look for those sets. And what I would say is to look back in time because they're, they've released a lot of these boxes and, but they don't stay available for very long. So there's a very good chance that the army or the units you're looking for might have been in a box that existed, say, a year or two ago. And if you have a look on like places like eBay or um, different you know, Facebook marketplaces, Kijiji, whatever, you might be able to find someone selling that box for maybe like a small markup, but the savings might still be not too bad. So that might be uh, like if you want like still like new in the box, um, that's something to look for. But the main thing I'm gonna, or the main places I'm gonna say to look and this might be a little bit different depending where in the world you're from. I'm in Canada, so this is going to be relevant to uh, Canada for a couple of them. But I think I think everywhere will at least have something similar. So um, eBay is po really popular for looking for Warhammer miniatures. But what I will say is a lot of the people selling on eBay are like professional resellers. They are a business. They know the value of the models or, or they're people... I, again like people that are in the hobby they know the value of the models so a lot of the times and i'll have some examples popping up there like the savings are quite minimal um a lot of the times you're so depending what it is you might not be saving anything or it might only be 10 15 percent um as with a lot of these uh if you're looking to it just depends if you're looking to start a new army oftentimes people will be willing to sell their whole collection or their whole army at a greater discount than just the individual models. A lot of the times, if you're buying an individual model, the savings will be less. Like, people will be willing to, if like, okay, if you're gonna buy all my stuff, um, say $1,500, but it's actually, you know, $2,500 worth of models. So you're getting it at a great discount there, um, as opposed to buying the individual model, where it might only be 10 or 15% off. So if you're gonna buy from eBay, just be aware like make sure you do your research make sure you're not overpaying um and really check the value of the prices like even if it is an army lot and be aware of anything that says pro painted because quite often it's not that well painted and quite often if it says that they're actually going to be asking more than the value of it because um because they at least think that it is painted well when i mean if it is painted well and it's a reasonable price then by all means do that but just really make sure you do your research um, if it's somebody that's claiming to be a pro painter, definitely check sources, check the reviews, um, all of that good stuff. But uh, honestly, for me, I have not found that many good deals on eBay. There's one reseller um, that they don't do set prices. It's, it's a bidding. 
and sometimes I've found a couple little deals there, but uh, they're from overseas, so the shipping is quite a bit. So yeah, eBay is not bad, not the best though. Uh, next, I'm going to move to uh, Kijiji. So again, I'm not sure if Kijiji is a global thing. Maybe I can do my research and I'll have my correction pop up on the screen right now, but it is at least for uh, Canada and America. And Kijiji uh, is like, a, it's a yard sale app or a yard sale site. And a lot of the times on there, you will get people, which the, this is like the creme de la creme of used Warhammer buying. It's people that uh, they're not trying, like people that are still in the hobby, like they still, are like they're look they're selling an army to fund another army like they are knowledgeable about warhammer they want to get every buck they can because it's going toward like you know what i mean those people are not going to give you the best deals and that's that's no fault of theirs like for absolutely like if you're looking to sell your stuff for sure try to you get the best price you can but um if you're just trying to get like as many models and a new army or whatever for as cheap as possible a lot of times those people aren't going to be your best friend um, but on places like Kijiji, which is like, it's a more general selling point. Like anybody, anybody that has stuff will sell it on Kijiji. So if say, for example, you have a situation where it's a mom selling her son's old stuff that he no longer uses. And it's been like, they've been sitting in a box for 15 years or something. Um, she might sell it on Kijiji. So that might be a place where you find something like that. Or like, again, or, or a guy that, um, you know, has been out of the hobby for 10 years or 15 years, doesn't really know the value of stuff anymore and doesn't really care. He just wants to make some money. He might just throw it on Kijiji. So a lot of times you'll find better deals there. Um, and again, like be aware of people that are professional resellers and you, you can figure that out really quickly. Just a quick check of their profile, check their sales, check their reviews absolutely check the reviews of anybody you're buying from obviously if they have negative reviews and negative comments uh, about their sales then you want to avoid those people um but i have found lots of good uh good good set good uh, good deals and good buys on kijiji um like i said one i can think of off the top of my head it was a unit it was a brand new box of tau pathfinders that i used for various kit bashes um and i believe i got that for 50 percent off and it was a brand new in the box. And it was actually, it was exactly what I said. Well, not exactly what I said. It was a mom and she was like, yes, I bought it for my son, um, but it was the wrong thing and he didn't want it. So, so she's just selling it uh, just to get rid of it. Um, so, so obviously it wasn't like a sentimental attachment or something there. Um, but that's just, that's just one example. I've seen lots of other good deals on Kijiji. So Kijiji is definitely somewhere to place or um, if you're somewhere else in the world, whatever your local uh, general um, yard sale app or yard sale site. Um, so that's a good place to look. Uh, after that, we're going to go to what I think is probably your best bet for finding um, exactly what you're looking for, quality, quantity, and, and the best deals possible. Um, and that is the various Facebook buy sell trade groups. There is also Facebook Marketplace, and I'll just quickly mention that because, but because that is basically the same as Kijiji. Uh, Facebook Marketplace is just again, it's a general selling place, and that's also where you'll find people a lot of the time that are just selling it to get rid of it, and they don't really care too much about getting the exact uh, value. Um, so that's a good place to look. Uh, you might the things the thing is with like Marketplace and Kijiji, there might not be as many options. There might not be as many people selling on there but you might be able to find good deals for what there is so definitely check those out um but to find again the most like if you're looking for exact things exact units you can't beat the facebook buy sell trade groups i myself am a member of probably like five of them um and i'll have uh a, i'll just have them all popping up on the screen right now uh different ones to check out there is uh, a canada specific one but and I'm sure there's specific ones for every country and maybe even every region. Uh, these are obviously going to be smaller, so there's going to be less people posting stuff. But you have the benefit of it being local to you, so that it's uh, oftentimes it'll be driving distance. You can go pick it up in person, uh, or at least that the shipping will be cheaper than, of course, like shipping overseas or whatever. So yeah, I would say check those, check your local ones first, um, and then if you can't find there, go to the bigger ones like. A lot of these bigger ones have like 15, 20,000 members on them. 
many, many, many posts a day. And you can look back through through the time, like there'll be things that have been up there for a month that haven't sold and you can go and find those things. Um, and again, I can't stress enough, you will find the best deals for sure if you're willing to, or you're able to buy a lot. Um, and these are, again, these are where you're gonna find those those best deals. And what's really nice about the, the buying of the lots, and this will kind of tie into what the next video is about, is let's say you're like, I wanna start a Necrons army. And you kind of have an idea in your head, the type of, the units that you like and the models that you like. Um, let's say that you're like, you're really all about like just that un unending Necron horde. You just want lots and lots of troops, and but you hate the look of Doomsday Arcs and the, the other arc thing. Like you just don't like those. You just like all the troops on the ground. That's your thing. So you go on there and you look, da 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 you look up Necron army lot. And that, that's what you should always look for. Look up, if you want a whole army, like do like something army lot or whatever. And yeah, so you're gonna look up army lot and let's say you find a nice big lot. It's got pretty much everything you want. It's say it's got like the, you know, it's got all the infantry you're looking for. It's got some cool characters, but then it's got two doomsday arcs and one of the, the, the transport arc. I keep forgetting what it's called. Um, but so say that's that's and it's a good deal. It's say it's like you can buy it. You can probably buy all of it. Let's say 40% off of retail and um, and, it, and it also turns out that it's nearby so you can just go pick it up in person. So rather than try to talk to the person and be like, hey, you know, um, I don't want to buy the arcs. Like, can you split it up for me? And like, because a lot of people don't want to do that. A lot of people don't want the hassle of then having to take the ad down and make a new ad and say, oh, it's no longer an army lot. It's just these two arcs. What you do is you buy the whole thing. You're buying it at a really good deal. And then you take all the parts that you don't want and then you just resell them. So you actually, depending how you do it and depending how it worked, like you can get even more savings that way if you're then able to resell a lot of things. So another example that I think I've talked about on stream before for me is um, what I will do is I will actually do like uh, trades and I'll like trade up sometimes. But uh, for example, one that I did was I ended up getting, I ended up doing a trade and whatever, I ended up getting something like 6,000 points of Tyranids, like five or 6,000 points of Tyranids. And it was all broken, it was all like poorly painted, whatever, like a lot of it was mismatched and stuff, but um, I just had so many models. But a lot of it was not really stuff that I wanted. And when all was said and done and I had taken everything I wanted out of it, I ended up only keeping about maybe 3,000 or so of it. And then so I had basically a whole other army that I was then able to resell. So on top of it being a trade in my favor, um, like in terms of like amount of models, like I got more models than I gave, but mine were like a, a complete painted set and whatever. Anyways, um, I was then able to sell off a bunch of it and then make some profit. And then obviously with that profit, I'm then able to buy more of the things that I wanted or, you know, pay for paints and whatever. So, um, yeah, definitely check out those Facebook groups. Um, and like I said, if you're, I'll give you some, just some like helpful advice for searching. Um, if you're looking for an army, I said, always look up army lot. And I said, I'd always check all of them. Start with the group that the, whatever your local one is. And then depending what army it is or what's going on, you might have to look up um, different areas. You can also look up, um, in, if you can't find like too much in the way of like a, a lot that you're interested in, you can again look up, look for the specific uh, box sets. Like again, so Sam, we use Necrons as an example again, they're pretty popular right now. Um, like Indomitus just came out. I guarantee you can still find people that are selling that half of Indomitus. So um, they just depending on what they made their title of their ad, they might have chose to list it as Indomitus Necrons or something instead of Lot. Um, so that could be another thing that you search for in order to find it. Now, if you're what you're looking for is more like just one unit or one character. Um, I'm going to say very carefully again, uh, look for that exact, like, look for that thing first, 
and then if you're unable to find it then you can just start just to go really general like say you say you just wanted the doomsday arc or whatever so say say you want a corn lord of skulls but you can't find anybody that's selling just the lord of skulls start looking for um world eaters army lot or look up chaos marines army lot and then you might find somebody that's selling a whole bunch um but and then you're, that they're willing to split it up and just sell you the, the one model. Um, a lot of people don't want to do that. A lot of people prefer to sell in a group. And again, that's where like maybe you can find a good deal on a small army of Chaos Marines that comes with that Lord of Skulls that you wanted. And then if it's a good deal, what you can do, take the Lord of Skulls and then just resell the rest of it. And depending what the deal was and how you did it, you again, you might it might actually benefit you more to buy that army and then resell the stuff that you want. Um, I'm gonna say, this is just like general good manners and good practice. Don't be a fucking scumbag. Like, do not be like, like there's, there's like, um, there's etiquette to it, right? Like if you are buying somebody's army from them, um, it is like kind of ignorant. Like say, like don't just buy their army and then it, five minutes later make an ad yourself and, or not five minutes later, like five days later like make an ad yourself with their stuff reselling it for more like that's pretty shitty to do like if you bought a space marine army for five hundred dollars and you took the thing out of it uh sell the remaining stuff for like a similar amount don't like don't take the thing you wanted out and then sell it for five hundred dollars again because that's like that's like pretty crappy or like if you're like just hell bent on doing that and you don't really care about being a scumbag because that that person you that you bought it from originally will probably see the ad like they're obviously on that group um at least have the decency like try to sell it in on a different site or a different place like go and list it on ebay or list it on kijiji or something like because that wouldn't like you can imagine how bad that would feel if you sold like an army that you really liked like you maybe it's I mean you never you don't know people's situation they might be selling it to the, just to pay bills or something and then some scumbag uh average joe goes and buys it and then resells it immediately for two hundred dollars more like don't be like that um there are some things you can do though to increase the value so say that lot that you bought um, say it was a lot of it was broken say it was some of it was missing bases or missing pieces say it wasn't painted very well um, what you could do is you could take it and before you resell the stuff that you want to resell you can fix it all up you can prime it you can paint it if you really wanted to and if, if you're a decent painter that can add value um, sometimes it does sometimes it doesn't depends what your skill level is like and what people want um, but that's something you could do like for example, a lot of that Tyranid stuff I sold, I like anything that was broken, I put it back together. Anything that had, um, you know, missing parts or had a lot of issues, I fixed that up. And I believe that I did prime prime a bunch of it because a lot of it was like mix matched colors and like from different armies and stuff. So um, a lot of people will actually be willing, like that. It's more appealing to someone buying it, right? Like a lot of people, like for me, I look at a giant box of broken Tyranids and I'm like, oh sweet, awesome, like let's see what I can do with this. But a lot of people are like, uh, this is like, this looks like way too much work. I don't want to do that. Um, so yeah, uh, that is one way that you can, that will help you, uh, would help you resell for more. So these are, uh, this was like kind of all over the place. Uh, you know, welcome to my TED talk about how to save money with Warhammer. Like I said, this was just the first part. This was just meant to be some things to think about when you're buying, um, some places to look uh, that might be helpful. The next part is going to be, we're going to go more into what I was starting to there because I just fucking ramble all over, all over the place. Um, how to how to sell your stuff the for the, the most amount of money and how to do that the best way. Um, as I said in a, in a recent stream, I basically don't really spend much of my own money on Warhammer these days, um, which is really good because I have none. Oh, cries. Um, but uh, between basically like you obviously have, it's, you have to put some money into it initially, but then through um, reselling and then through like uh, commission painting and all these other ways that you can make it kind of pay for itself. 
and of course like buying used and you know getting the best deals possible like you can if if not you know 100 percent, you can definitely cut the cost down drastically so yeah i thought i would uh, share some of my tips because i see a lot of people that are just buying like and i mean all, all power to you like if that's like if you are like no i really like getting that brand new box from gw stores um paying full price like if that's what you want to do that's all it's all to you but a lot of us don't have much money these days especially with everything going on so yeah i thought this would be helpful for some people um as always guys thanks for watching um if you want to support the channel the patreon link is down below as always i'm always posting uh all my newest work in progress stuff down there as well as taking uh video suggestions and um like we just had a giveaway on the channel the people that are in my patreon um, actually get a shot at the second model for that as well as getting uh, extra entries um, for the first model that was given away so if you want to check that out that's down below if not bye for now